in this playlist of natural anatomy flashcards the skull view we will discuss is the inferior view cranial base inferior view this is the skull and you can see it from the inferior side first we have eight labels we will discuss one by one the label one you can see this bone is the maxilla these are upper teeth and this bone in the green color is the maxilla and the second in the peach orange color this is the zygomatic bone this is maxilla this is the second label is the zygomatic bone third is the in yellow color this is the syphnoidal bone maxilla zygomatic and syphnoidal bone the fourth label what is it in pink color this is the temporal bone fourth is the temporal bone and the fifth label we have in the green color this is the parietal bone it is the above the skull so you can see it from the inferior view a few area the sixth label this is at the behind this is the occipital bone it is at the base of the skull this is the occipital bone and the seventh label in the purple color you can see is the warmer this is the warmer bone you can see it clearly from inferior side and the eighth label is the palatine bone all the labels i tell you clearly and it's very easy we discussed this before first is the maxilla second is the zygomatic bone third in the yellow color is the syphnoidal bone fourth is the temporal bone fifth we have a parietal six have a uh, occipital bone seventh is the warmer and eighth is the palatine bone now we will discuss the comment it's i think it you remember this cranial bones and facial bone contribute to the base of the skull cranium eight bones and the facial 14 bones contribute to the base of the skull three processes key processes and foramina foramina means opening key processes and foramina associated with this bone can be seen in the inferior view this is the skull inferior view and you can see the foramina and processes the largest foramina of the skull is the foramen magnum this is the foramen magnum this site it is the site where the spinal cord and brain stem brain stem include medulla oblongata are constituted it is the site of spinal cord and brain stem continuation this is the comment we will discuss and the next we have a clinical very very important so let's start our clinical in the clinical section we will discuss the basilar fracture in the previous lectures i will told you this is the fracture of the base of the skull fracture of the cranial base basilar fracture may damage important neurovascular structures where the nerves and vessels pass passing into or out of the cranium from the foramen vessels and the nerves are passing from the foramen openings where there is an opening there is a neurovascular structures present and they are passing into and out of them the internal carotid artery may be torn in case of basilar fracture internal carotid artery may be torn cranial nerves may be damaged you can see here uh, now you can uh, just think the cranial nerves all the functions impairment which nerve effect go the following functions and the dura mater may be torn because dura mater is the outermost covering of the skull dura mater has more chance to torn resulting in the leakage of cerebrospinal fluid cerebrospinal fluid become leak in this lecture i will discuss the cranial base inferior view all its eight labels comments and the clinical that is of basilar fracture i definitely sure that you will enjoy this video and understand each concept thank you